Hi everybody, this is Jenna from Casa Trinity. We understand that things are a little stressful right now with everything that's going on. And so we just wanted to fill you guys in on a few tips and tricks from our PAX Tools program to help make your day go by a little bit more smooth. So today I will talk about Beat the Timer. And Beat the Timer is really great because it really helps young people to focus and stay on track and stay motivated to complete any activity or task that they might be given. And with um, all of our schools here being closed in Tioga County, um, we do know that you know students are having to work from home. And so we really wanted to share uh, our Beat the Timer tip to help, uh, help our young people stay on track and stay focused to complete the activities that they've been given. So hopefully this uh, you'll find this tip to be helpful. And so with Beat the Timer, it really helps the child to stay on task and to feel motivated to complete that task and to really try to block out any distractions. You know, it's obviously it's new having to be home and to still kind of be in school mode. So we want to create an environment that will still um, have some structure. And so Beat the Timer really helps with that. So for the recipe for Beat the Timer, the first thing you want to do is select an activity that usually causes some conflict. So for example, maybe homework uh, is a time that is difficult for some of our young people to stay focused and stay motivated to complete that task. The second step is providing clear instructions. So if you know your uh, child at home needs to spend 30 minutes on math, then that would be an activity that we want to try to break up a little bit to try to keep the uh, individual as focused as possible during that time. So you want to provide clear instructions. So if we are looking at a 30 minute time period for math, maybe we can break it up into three 10 minute uh, time, time spans. So you would give clear uh, instructions. We're going to spend 10 minutes on math and I'm going to time you and see if we can beat the timer. And then after they would spend the 10 minutes on their math, maybe they could have a little break before they get into their next uh, 10 minute uh, time span for math. So the third thing you want to do, like I said, is to pick a short amount of time and uh, 10 minutes just seems like a really good uh, place to start, especially with this new transi transition of working at home. The fourth thing is reminding um, your child of their goal and the things that they need to get done within those 10 minutes so that they can reach their goal and beat the timer. The fifth thing you want to do is really praising good performance, praising that you notice that they're working so hard. I see that you're working hard and I appreciate that you're staying on task and staying focused. I'm really proud of you for that and pointing out the progress along the way. The final thing you're going to do, step six, is praise performance when they beat their timer or when they've come close to being their timer. And that really helps uh, kids stay motivated and know that they're working hard and that it's being noticed. Um, other than doing homework, I think Beat the Timer is really great for chores. Um, it could also be used for, um, for an example, cleaning our room. So I don't know if any of you have found yourself in this position where maybe you tell your child, you know, I really would like to see your room clean and I'm gonna give you 30 minutes to do that. Third, maybe 10 minutes passes by, you go upstairs to check up and monitor how far they've come and you notice that they've given up or they're just lacking motivation in getting it done. And what PAX Tools Research has found is that sometimes we're just giving too much time for a task that needs to be done. So really cutting down the amount of time really uh, has them working uh, motivated to complete that task and get it done as soon as possible. So um, we really encourage you to try to use this right now at home with homework time and chores and really help block out the distractions that uh, we might find happening at home. So we really hope you guys will tune in for the rest of our PAX tools, tips and tricks. And thank you guys and have a wonderful day.